Hi, and welcome back to Anthony's Wig Spot. So, I'm back with another wig review, and today it's going to be about this beautiful wig, Make Waves, by the wig company in color F18101. Stay tuned. So if you haven't checked out the wig company, you really should consider checking them out. They have some great styles that are very affordable. I actually picked this Make Waves up um, during one of their flash sales they had. Um, they had posted on Instagram and if you follow their, their page, they often post um, sometimes 20% and as high as 25% off on some occasions. So I picked up this Make Waves, which I've been wanting for a long time. I actually waited quite a while for this F18 101 color to come back in stock, which as you can see is a very platinum uh, blonde highlighted with gold blonde. It's a very pretty color. It does appear more ashy in outdoor lighting, so if you stay tuned to the end of the video, you'll see some photos of me wearing this in outdoor lighting, and it's just slightly more ashy, not too much more, but it is a very beautiful color. So Make Waves sports this beautiful lace front that is done just impeccably. I really think this uh, this wig company brand that they offer is just amazing on what you get for the money. But there's a good look at that lace front. And then the rest of the cap is just open sides and back. So let me give you a complete 360. So these are heat-friendly fibers. Um, they feel similar to uh, the heat-friendly fibers you'd find on like a Raquel Welch, a Hairdo, any kind of those heat-friendly fibers. This, these are very responsive to the touch. So I didn't even have to use any product. As you can see, I just pushed this up and off my face to expose that beautiful lace front. And this is a very heavily layered style. So you can really do a lot with these layers but I think you can get some edgy, edgy looks with this. And also some smooth down looks if you really like the bangs. I actually like wearing it both ways, but if you like the bangs, you really can get a lot. Does have some permatease, not an overabundance, but you can get that lift if you want it. Just one thing to note on this particular cap, just be careful where you part the hair because you will see wefts. I do believe they could have done slightly better on um, adding a little more permatease to obscure those top wefts there, but it's not terrible and it is easily obscured if you just pull the hair a certain way. Just keep that in mind if you are interested in this style that you will have to work with it somewhat to obscure those wefts by just moving the hair in a way that doesn't expose them. But I believe this style is meant to be messy, it's meant to be edgy, it's meant to be creative, and it's definitely one that you wanna make your own. Um, so as far as the heat-friendly fibers are concerned, there is no heat degree. So my advice would be uh, keep your styling tools to a minimum. I would not go above 350 degrees on this one. And always use a heat protecting spray. And as I said, keep your styling tools to a minimum. So let me give you some measurements and then we'll take a look inside this cap. So the front here measures um, just over five and a half inches. The top down is about four and a half inches. The sides are four inches. The back is four inches and it does have a long nape of four inches. You so, could trim up this nape if you wanted to. I actually may end up doing that. I kind of really like how it curls around my neck in that way and I like the coverage that I get in there in the back. Just be cautious that if you do have jackets like I'm wearing today or clothing it will rub up against this so you're going to want to get some um, de good detangler and make sure that at the end of the day you just run a wide tooth comb through the ends of this to keep them from getting ratted up in the back but it will cause friction. 
So inside Make Waves cap here, you do have a lace front that goes from temple to temple all the way almost down, pretty far down to the ear tabs here. Then you have a closed top. So there's no monofilament features on this except for the lace front here. And then we have open back and sides. The ear tab is very soft and it has a good piece of metal in it, keeps the flush against the temples of your head. Then we have an extended nape with Velcro adjusters. This cap is very large. It would definitely, definitely fit somebody who has an average large circumference. Fit me perfectly right out of the box. I only adjusted the ear, the ear tabs just slightly back. They were right here and I moved them to here. And that's just about normally where um, I have to adjust average size caps to. So I think it would accommodate somebody with a larger measurement. So she's very easy once you get her on. Um, you know, you just run your hands through. I'm not even using a wide tooth comb. I do recommend that on this heat friendly fibered style though, as you always use a wide tooth comb on this. I would not use a wig brush. So as far as coverage is concerned, it is pretty good coverage. Um, there's some of my bio hair there. You could get fill in powder and fill this around, but keep in mind too that you will see the wig line because this is such a bright uh, color. This isn't a defect, but you will see part of the wig line if you try and pull the hair up and off. So if you wanna pull the hair up and away, do it more up here and try and keep some of that hair down to obscure those wefts. But it does have pretty good coverage. So as far as styling is concerned, like I said, you can really pull the hair up and off the face almost effortlessly, which as I said earlier, I was concerned about the wefting showing about moving the hair, but when you pull the hair up and off, you're not even seeing that wefting. It is really not noticeable at all. So I really like this pulled up and off. Anybody that follows me knows that most of my short little cuts that I love, I always appreciate a good lace front because I'm a person that loves to put the hair up and over, especially right off a beautiful lace front like that. I mean, I'm gonna give you one more look at this lace front just because I think it's beautifully done. Almost sheer invisible. You can't even really see anything. It just looks like natural, natural hair growth. It's absolutely perfect. So as far as styling, you could put headbands in this. Um, you could get the volume out of her if you want to. You can make her look really edgy and messy. Um, it has the length to go behind the ears. I like to put some one side behind my ears and then I kind of just, I like these to flare around my neck. I just like this style. I think it's great for the money. So go check out the wig company. The links will be below in the description box and we'll see you next time on Anthony's Wig Spot.